Well, before I did a repair, I thought I'll do a post-mortem inspection and uh, show the extent of the damage, what happened after the beaver went in the last time. As you can see on the video, it uh, started to do a turn onto base and then it just turned in the opposite direction and nose dived in. I'm still suspicious of the area, but the purpose of this video is to show the result of what came about and to learn things from what I can learn and pass on. One of the biggest things was um, obviously the impact of the to the ground on this time the weakest showed up the weakest section in the fuselage and uh, the foam being the next weakest structure let go. I was amazed on this time the integrity and the strength that I'd put into the firewall section the only damage was in the engine mount area here where um, the plastic had separated cracked further it certainly bent the engine mount down because it's got a lower thrust line here but um, and the other interesting thing is it also popped the circlip again and this was a thing which happened in the first accident where you can see when I push on the thrust line here how the outrunner is moving and which it shouldn't have any play and what I'd learned from the last inspection was the last accident was the circlip that retains the drive shaft in place has actually popped out of the groove and you can see at the base of the pin there how the circlip has spread and this took me a bit to find the last time why I was having so much problem and why it was so noisy and uh, you get this end float on the motor which you should have none so simply relocating that circlip back into the groove fixes that 90% of the time. I've got a um, deformation again on the engine mount so I have to straighten that. You can see how it's forced down but the strength of the structure where I've reinforced it previously has saved it from deforming in the other areas and it's remained intact on the reinforced firewall that I made up so the next weakest section is obviously the foam in another area. So this time the foam has opened up at the cabin door. So you can also see a little bit inside where it's let go around the mount. I think it was from the previous accident. So it just needs a wee bit of reinforcing in this floor section. So my thoughts are to make a box area in here and strengthen this whole area up. Get rid of this opening in the bottom. One of the bane of the life on this model is having to put the battery in and you have to turn the model upside down to be able to access your battery each time you go to fly. So my thoughts are to fill in this floor section here, reinforce it with a, a structure of something here, tie it back into the main structure so that it strengthens up this cabin area around here which is obviously the weakest area in an accident. So I'll make some sort of a structure and perhaps a cage and reinforce this and then overlay it with fiberglass and see if it'll strengthen it up. I may have to put some rods through this here to 
give some strength back into here and re refine the glass. And my thought was to put the battery, if it'll fit, on the seat and have it access perhaps through the door. So maybe come in through the modify it so that you take the window off if I made a stronger window frame and enter it in through the front or come in through the side. But there's the cowl and this time in one piece. It's not you can still see the effects of the repair where I've had to reinforce it and body it up and underneath the paints the extra layers of fiberglass but um, I was surprised it remained intact this time to the extent of the impact it's pushed it's obviously struck the ground almost come out of the, the dive but it's flattened out and it's impacted on the undercarriage, so it's pancaked in. Push this wheel up. Shows the strength of this reinforcement plate that I've made between the gears has actually saved it from being ripped off the fuselage. Otherwise, this would be just completely ripped out, and I think the, the accident would have been far worse, and it would be in the trash pin before now. The legs have just deformed. Though I can re-straighten those again, possibly have to replace, but um, I was surprised at how much strength. It's actually popped the spar again, and it's actually broken. So this spar has popped out of this section here, but it's cracked it on the root here, so I'll probably have to do an insertion of another carbon rod like the first time. The other side looks like it's pulled away from the stru structure here, so the fuse will have to be reinforced here. So overall I think reinforce it around the cabin area like I've had to do here previously. The door roots are a weak area and they generally break. So just extending this type of structure from inside of the manufacturer's made out of plywood to reinforce around this front section is obviously going to be the my next step if I decide to fix this thing up. You see they've got a spreader bar here under the seat hold things together so the seat structure possibly I'll have to take out or modify to sit the battery if the battery will sit across the seat so that's the uh, analysis of the machine on its last praying and uh, the extent how robust this structure is how forgiving it can be but um, I think I'll solidify it up a bit better in the belly here so that it makes it stronger by making this integral one piece and fiberglass all this together so that um, the battery access can be in through another area. Unfortunately the tow well mod was a success in the weakest area it snapped off at the base of the yoke so I have to put a, another shaft on here so that was the next weakest area to go where I um, make up another yoke completely, I don't know blades on the prop 
that was the first one this is the second one just snap the blades clean off on the second preen so foam just peeled off the leg which is cosmetics only just glued on to it so that's what we're going to start with this time perhaps and uh, see what happens hope you learned something from it like I did the mount for the camera GoPro remained in touch this time uh, just bent the camera down on the impact so at least it glued onto the fuselage it stayed and kept the um, everything there